Hello, my name is Amy if you're brand new to this channel. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about how to shop smart, whether high street or mid-range luxury or even high-end super brand luxury. You guys would have already seen my review, my first impression review on this little Valentino uh, Roxette bag. So this one, I did get it on sale as well. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna talk about how I managed to find all these things. And even the jacket that I'm wearing, actually, this is from Zara, but it's a very, very nice dupe, a very, very nice Balmain dupe with buttons all the way down, uh, double-breasted, and it's so, so nice. It's a nice tweed. And this jacket is so, so popular. It was always, always sold out of my size. Um, I don't like shopping. Uh, at the store at Zara by the way, but I love going on their website and it was always sold out in my size So the moment that it was back in stock, I snatched it up. So the very first smart shopping tip that I wanted to share with you is an app called Shop Tagger. I also want to take this moment to thank Shop Tagger for sponsoring this video. I've been using Shop Tagger for a solid year. You guys have no idea how many times I was able to find things back in stock or on sale or on deeper discount because of Shop Tiger. If you have never heard of Shop Tiger, it's very very simple. All you need to do is download and install the browser button. Let's go and download it and install it. You can also just use the browser as well. All you need to do is, of course, sign up for an account. And then every time you just need to go back to shoptagger.com and then sign in and then add on your items. But I really, really do recommend that you install that browser button because it makes it so seamless and so automatic. It's basically the fastest way for you to, whenever you're browsing just in front of your computer, to just click on that little button to add whatever you want to keep track of or add to your wish list. For example, I often shop at Zara or I often shop at Banana Republic online. I prefer going online versus going in store, especially for Zara, it's just a zoo there. And let's just save something that I want to keep an eye out because the size that I'm looking for is no longer available. Anytime an item that you save goes back in stock or is on sale, Shop Tiger will notify you by sending you an email. In addition to just browsing on your computer, you can also do it on your phone. They now have the actual Shop Tiger app that you can install on your phone and you can basically do the exact same thing whenever you're uh, browsing on your phone and you want to add it to Shop Tiger to your own list, your own account then you can just do it automatically from there, from your phone as well. Make sure that you set uh, notifications to be push notifications. So whenever there is something that um, changed in the status of the item set you are watching, it will let you know right away. It will notify you on your phone. They're constantly adding new merchants and new companies to the list, and they're adding new features all the time. They're always improving their program. So the latest feature that they have right now is that while you're checking out, you can apply any of the known coupons so you know that you're always getting the best deals sometimes you don't know about like let's say a free shipping promotion or like an extra whatever percentage off then shop tiger will do that for you it will already know or at least all the known coupons that it knows it will try to apply it for you automatically as you can see this is my list of the, all the things that i added and like i said earlier i am a true shopaholic so that's why the list is quite extensive but it's also a good way for me to just have the item there on my list and you can also uh, organize it by different wish lists so i have right here wish list 2019 um, you know, things that I must buy, that's where I would put it on. But the rest of it, my main sort of homepage, the list of things that I have there, is really just more for, almost as a reminder or almost as a, oh, that's something that I saw that I like. And that's also exactly how I managed to get my other Valentino bag, this one, on sale as well. This one, I also got it, I don't remember right now how much percentage I got it off, but I'm thinking it should be around 25 to 30% off, which is 
a really amazing deal and even though I did not buy this from from watching it on shop tiger I was still able to add it to my list just so that I you know as a reminder of something that I want to get eventually and I have seen this bag on sale too which is pretty amazing and every time a Fendi or a Valentino goes on sale it's not just 10% well it depends on which site you're looking at I think Essence usually has lesser of a discount but they have more variety they have more colors and more uh, more products that are available in stock um, other sites such as Luisa Vioroma or Mattress Fashion, they don't necessarily have as many options or different colors or different like design of the bag available. But when they do go on sale, almost like 40% off at Mattress Fashion at one point, which is mind blowing if you ask me. My second tip is a pretty obvious one in my opinion, but not everybody does it. And I must say that of course, if you're a shopaholic already and, and you, you like to shop, that's something that I really recommend that you do. I know that this year there's a lot of people who are on their no-buy year or no-buy sort of mission. So if, if that's the case, then I don't recommend you do that. However, if you're just like me and you like a good deal and you already shop at those places anyway, like the ones, your favorite list of merchants, do sign up for their newsletter because not only will you receive firsthand their sales announcement, so whenever they have like their yearly sale or I don't know, Black Friday sale, whatnot, you will be one of the first to get notified. You will also be notified of anything that's new. So any upcoming season items, any sort of trend items. Last but not least, if you already are a frequent shopper of that company, you will also most likely if they have a loyalty program, you'll be able to get access to their pre-sales. Uh, so that's normally a week or two before the public sale. So you get the best crop of the field, sort of speak. You know, you get all the different options available to you firsthand. And also whenever they have special coupons, flash coupons, or just loyalty coupons, in general they will send that your way and so you will have even better saving this i believe i bought it with the loyalty coupon so i think because i'm like in their tier number three or tier number four i can't remember which one i'm at uh then they send you like 15 percent off once in a while or they send you like just special coupons just for you this one was actually part of the uh they announced the yearly sale. It was actually part of the pre-sale. So I actually got this on the pre-sale. So not, not available to general public, but I, I was able to get it before that. And very, it's very funny because they only had it on sale for the first day and then they removed it from the sale after that. So it just goes to show that, you know, using all these tips and making sure that you uh, have all the resources possible, you really end up saving a lot of money, especially if you already have it as part of your wish list. In a way, the more you shop at their place and the more loyal you are to that company, then the more you're rewarded, which, you know, a lot of places do that. It is a marketing incentive, of course, uh, to lure you into spending more money. But if you're already gonna spend it anyway, if you already have that item on your wish list and you're gonna buy it anyway, you might as well take advantage of it. My third tip for you is more about being strategic with your shopping. Whenever you're attracted to something and you really, really want it, before you even buy it, think about whether it will match with the majority of your wardrobe and that you can think of multiple uses for the for the item whether it's like to be able to wear at daytime nighttime or for a special event because a lot of times and me included we fall into the trap of oh it's something trendy or something that everybody has and you just want it because of that reason but once you get it you realize that it's so hard to style with your own things or that you never even reach for it because it's practical for that other person but not necessarily for you so always always think about whether it will work with your wardrobe with your lifestyle because that way not only will you save money when it's unnecessary to buy 
uh, you're also really going to enjoy what you buy because you know that you're going to get a lot of use out of it. And it comes with a lot of practice, to be very honest. I'm still learning. I think it's a long life journey. You know, we're talking about shopping, you know, first world problems. But it is. It is a lifelong journey. You're still learning about yourself. Your lifestyle may still change in a year or two or five or ten. I also want to point out that by doing so, you will also avoid buying something only because it's on sale because it doesn't really matter if the item you're looking at is on sale let's say it's amazing the deal is like 80 percent off but if it doesn't match with your wardrobe or the majority of it and you don't even see yourself wearing it even though at the very moment it's a very very attractive offer it's a mute point because then you didn't end up spending that 20 percent of the price that you don't need anyway so that's kind of like a two-in-one tip. Don't buy it just because on, it's on sale and also make sure that it really is gonna go with most of your thing. The fourth tip that I wanted to share with you is not as obvious, is to consider pre-loved, especially the ones that are beautiful and are classics, but they just don't keep their value. Do consider buying them pre-loved. And I'm not here to talk about how to authenticate and all that stuff. That's homework that you need to do on your own. One of the tricks that I use to sort of gauge an item whether it is going to tend to keep its value over time or not is to just go on a consignment website and just look up the item and see what kind of prices they're going for in the market. Because they're consignment, usually they are used. Sometimes they do have new items. so. You know, in, in that case, it's harder to judge. But if you look at something that's already pre-loved and you kind of judge it from the price range, then you can really get an idea of whether it is worth it to buy it pre-loved or not. So a lot of times I find that Chanel, for example, the classic flap, it's great to buy it pre-loved just because I feel like the retail price is really, really crazy. And I think we've been talking about that for years now. And of course, there are exceptions, you know, especially if, you're looking at a piece that's like the iridescent pink from 19S. You know, that was a crazy collection that, of course, you should just buy it in store because it will be cheaper in store. But if you're just going for the classic black and the classic reissue flaps, things like that, they tend to be a bit cheaper when you buy it in the pre-loved market. Another popular brand of bag that I highly recommend buying pre-loved is Dior. Dior bags, for some reason, even though they're beautiful and they're a lot of classics, they just don't keep their value quite as well. Especially the Lady Dior, either buying it from someone you know or buying it from, uh, you know, the Facebook group or buying it from Fashion File. It does not really matter because I feel like the Lady Dior just doesn't keep its value really well and that you can get a pretty decent deal if you find the right one pre-love. My very last tip that I wanted to talk about is pertaining to super brands. Fashion houses such as LV, Chanel, and Hermes. Just look at the most popular Chanel bags out there, uh, the most sought after Hermes bag out there, and some of the most popular LV items, if you like it brand new, it's always gonna be better if you try to find them in store, in person just because not only can you look at the item, try it on yourself, make sure there's no flaws, but you end up saving money because there's usually a markup on those things when you buy it pre-loved, uh, not pre-loved, I should say, uh, when you buy it from a reseller or from a consignment shop, especially if an item is super in demand, whoever is selling the item will mark up the price because they can. So in the cases of super brands, I do feel like it's still better to have a personal relationship with an essay and to try to work with that same essay and to go to the same stores all the time just because by building that relationship um, you know not only will your essay get to know you and your style so she can recommend different things for you that will suit you but you'll also be more memorable and most likely they'll be able to help you more with what you really want to get in the future so Super brands is the only exception where you can't really, I would say you can't really spot sales or availability online necessarily because it's often not there and it never goes on sale anyway. Don't forget to check out my link down below to download Shop Tagger if you haven't already. 
but I'm pretty sure a lot of you already use it um, but it's it's a superb way of getting started with planning your shopping it's really one of those tools that I was skeptical at first because I haven't heard about it but once I started using it I realized how great it is and now I cannot live without it let me know if you want me to do a uh, try on video. I guess I did pick up a few things from Zara and a few other things from other places as well So if you're interested, I can whip up a try on video for you guys possibly soon uh, But yeah, this is one of the jackets. I'll link it down below too I guess you guys might be interested in some of the stuff that I showed you Let me know down below if you have other tips that I don't know about and if you're brand new to my channel, I would love to have you back. So please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and hit that notification bell. Have a nice day or week ahead of you, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye!